Today's horror mini-review is Misery, a film from 1990 that stars James Caan and Kathy Bates and was directed by Rob Reiner. It's based on Stephen King's novel of the same name, which came out a few years earlier. It has a lot of classic Stephen King tropes, starring a writer who ends up in a very dangerous situation, as well as ha having the environment be a heavily feature in the film. This is one of the best regarded Stephen King adaptations, and in fact the only uh, film that was to win an Oscar. The Oscar was won by Kathy Bates for a portrayal of the villain, uh, Annie Wilkes. She's definitely one of the most intimidating villains I've seen, at least of the sort of style that she is portraying. She's very affable, she's very happy, but there's just this something off about her, and it's only a few times when you see her true anger. It reminds me very much of an abusive uh, parent, and that's what she wants to be. She wants to be this loving, caring fi figure in the author's uh, recovery, as the basic plot is that this writer gets stuck in a snowstorm, crashes his car, and is then saved by a nurse who then nurses him back to health. Of course, in the end, he realizes that she is not going to bring him to the hospital. She's not trying to get him help. She wants him all for herself. And so he makes a few plans to escape. And that's where a lot of the tension comes from. Him trying a few different things like stealing a knife or um, hiding his pills and eventually trying to get her to drink it. And these result in some very good, tense scenes that really add to the themes of the film. And I think, more than anything, the film is about sort of the themes or the feel of it. There's not too much going on plot-wise, it's just him recovering for most of the film, but there's this sense of uneasiness, this fear of what this woman might do to him, and we never quite know. In the end, she does do some horrible things, but um, fairly surprisingly to me to end spoilers, I suppose, but it does have a happy ending. She's defeated, um, killed, but it's, of course, realized that despite all of this, his, he's gone through something very traumatic, and that's going to haunt him for the rest of his life. And we have a final scene at the end to tell us that. Overall, I would recommend Misery. It's got some very nice imagery, especially with the winter environments, if you're into that, and has one of the most effective villains in the last, I guess it's about 30 years old now. We're quite close to the 30-year anniversary, and it still holds up incredibly well in terms of the acting department, which is the most important thing for a film like this. That's me for today. I hope anyone watching this has a good evening, or a good day, and a good life. <laughs>